girl. So today we're going to read about Madeline and the Gypsies. <laughs> in an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They left the house at half past nine and the smallest one was Madeline. In another old house that stood next door lived the son of the Spanish ambassador. He was all alone, his parents were away. He had no one with whom to play. He asked, please come, I invite you all to a wonderful gypsy carnival. And so, dear readers, here we go. Up and down and down and up, they hopped on the wheel and would never stop. Round and round, the children cried, Dear Miss Clavel, just one more ride. A sudden gust of wind, a bolt of lightning, even the rooster found it frightening. The big wheel stops, the passengers land. How fortunate there is a taxi stand. Everybody's running away because it's raining. Hurry, children, off with these things. You'll eat in bed. Miss Murphy brings the soup of the evening. It is half past nine. Good heavens, where is Madeline? Uh-oh, Madeline's missing. How did she forget Madeline? Poor Miss Clavel, how would she feel if she knew that on top of the Ferris wheel, in weather that turned from bad to rotten, Pepito and Madeline had been forgotten? Pepito said, don't be afraid, I will climb down and get some aid. It was downpouring more and more as he knocked on the gypsy's caravan door. The gypsy mama with her umbrella went and got some help in the circus tent. With the aid of the strong man and the clown, Madeline was safely taken down. <laughs> Look at the strong man's holding up an elephant and a clown. The gypsy mama tucked them in and gave them potent medicine. The big wheel was folded in the tent. They packed their wagons and away they went. For gypsies do not like to stay. They only come and then go away. A bright new day, the sky is blue, the storm is gone, the world is new. This is the castle of Fountain Blue. All this, dear children, belongs to you. Are the gypsies taking Madeline away? How wonderful to float in a pool. Watch other children go, while other children go to school. Never to have to brush your teeth. Uh-oh. And never, never go to sleep. Don't you think they should go to sleep at some point? The gypsies taught them grace and speed. 
Sí, Grace. Sí. And how to ride the circus steed. Oh, look at them riding the steed, the horsey. That's what a steed is. It's a horsey. Can you see them? Then Madeline said, it's about time. We sent dear Miss Clovel a line. Poor Miss Clovel, a shadow of her former self, from worrying because instead of twelve, there were only eleven little girls stopped brushing their curls and suddenly revived when the postal card arrived. Thank heaven, she said, the children are well, but dear, oh dear, they've forgotten how to spell. She studied the postmark, and then fast and faster, they rushed to the scene of the disaster. The gypsy mama didn't like it at all, what she saw in her magic crystal ball. See? She saw them coming. She didn't want them to take Madeline and Pepito. The gypsy mama said, how would you like to try on this lovely costume of a lion? With a curved needle and some string, she sewed both the children in. And nobody knew what was inside the tough old lion, leathery hide. She is hiding the kids. That's not good. A circus lion earns his bread by scaring people half to death. This was a fascinating game. Compared to this, all else was lame. And after doing that, he's fed. And after that, he's put to bed. A lovely dawn, and all was well. The lion roamed through wood and dell. He smelled sweet flowers. He came to a farm. Where are they going? He frightened the barnyard, intending no harm. Everybody got scared. They saw a man and said, Please help us get to... As to get us out of this old pelt. The man was a hunter. He took his gun. He got to his feet and started to run. He thought he was a real lion. Said the lion, we'd better go back, for if we're not, in a zoo or a circus, we'll surely be shot. They got to the tent in time for the show. Look, said Madeline. There, in the first row. Oh, yes, said Pepito. There are people we know. Who are the people he knows? It's Miss Clavel. Dear Miss Clavel, at last we found you. Please let us put our arms around you. The gypsy mama sobbed her grief into her only handkerchief. The strong man suddenly felt weak and tears were running down his cheek. Even the poor clown had to cry, as the time to say goodbye. The best part of a voyage, by plane, by ship, or train, is when the trip is over and you are home again. Here is a freshly laundered shirt. It's better to be clean than dirty. And then she came back just to count them once more. <laughs> I love you, baby girl. Sweet dreams. Good night.